Hey there, awesome second graders. Today, we are going to continue our journey of meeting the three mysterious R brothers. Today, we are going to learn more about I.R. Irving. Today, we meet the sneaky brother, Irving I.R. Er. When we think of words that have I-R, we can think of words such as shirt, first, squirt, third, girl, smirk. In the gang of vowel-stealing robots, there are three brothers. They all make the same sound but steal different vowels. We are the Robot Brothers. If you see any vowels behind our backs, don't expect to hear the usual vowel sounds. I'm Irving Er. Uh, I steal ink. As I run off, I shout my last name. Er! Uh! Irving Er uh, steals ink. He gets into far fewer words than his other robot brothers. Explore. Irving Ur uh is at the circus. He is stealing ink, shouting his last name, Ur. Uh. Now there's ink on his shirt. His shirt is dirty, and that girl's shirt is dirty too. Look at all the birds. Can you count 13 birds? Words. Click on the letter landers to hear the sound they make in words. Click on the pictures to hear the words. Uh. Bird. Uh. Girl. Uh, birthday. Uh, shirt. Uh, skirt. Song. You'll recognize me, Irving, uh, by my dirty shirt with lots of spots of ink on it. And this is not my first dirty shirt, nor my second, nor my third, nor my thirteenth, nor my thirtieth, nor my thirty-first. I hate to have to tell you this, but it's my thirty-third dirty shirt. Your job today is to select three words from the I-R-R -er word jar. You are going to take the words from the I-R-R -er word jar and create three sentences about visiting a farm. So remember, you're going to pick out three words and you are going to create three sentences using the words with I R. Er, to describe visiting a farm. Some of the words that you could choose are first, bird, dirt, circle, birthday, girl, stir, chirp, twirl, thirsty, third, squirt. Think about how you could use words with I-R-R -er to describe visiting a farm. Also, this week we are talking about the roles and responsibilities of good citizens. So, today we are going to talk about how to get involved in a community. Good citizens are involved in the community. 
they get to know their neighbors and other citizens. They work to make their community a better place to live. What can you do to get involved? Start by taking part in after-school activities. Join a community center or a youth group. They have programs and activities just for kids. You can have fun and make new friends. Another way to get involved is to follow local news. That will let you know what is going on in your community. For example, you might learn that your police department is teaching a free bike safety class. Maybe you will want to take the class. How can you follow the news? Read, uh, read school and local newspapers. Watch the local news with a parent. Then talk about what you learned. Ask family members their opinions and share your own. Being a good citizen includes voting. Citizens can vote in local, state, and national elections. You must be 18 years old to vote in most states. Every four years, citizens elect the President of the United States. Kids can vote too. How? Many schools invite kids to take part in the mock election. It helps students learn about the election process. How else can you get involved? Learn about your community history. Visit museums and town landmarks. Go with a parent to take a tour of your city hall. Meet some of your elected officials. Attend a school board meeting. Some schools have a student council. They organize special activities and help make school decisions. If you have a student council, you can vote to elect officers. You may also want to serve on the council. Did you know that people in the United States vote on election day? It is always the Tuesday after the first Monday in November. All right, so remember that your, jobs to, your job today is you are going to create three sentences using words from the IR er word jar. I want you to see if you can make those sentences about visiting a farm. Also, your job today is to tell me what is a landmark. What landmarks have you visited in Chatham County? I want you to investigate and explore what are some of the landmarks here in Chatham County.